Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this compound diagram as you can see in this figure such that this side length AD is 7, this side length AB is 6, this side length BC is 2 times square root of 3 and now we are going to calculate this side length CD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label the side lengths. I'm going to call this side length AE as a lowercase a, this side length EC as lowercase b, this side length DE as lowercase c, and this side length EB as lowercase d. And finally, I am going to call this side length CD as an x and here's our next step let's consider this triangle aed and we know that this triangle is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and just keep in your mind that this c is our longest leg which is going to be seven let's go ahead and apply this pythagorean theorem so this is going to be a square plus c square equal to seven square or simply we can simplify it a square plus c square equal to 7 squared is 49. Let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 1. And now let's focus on this triangle AEB and we know that this triangle is a right triangle as well. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And once again, our longest leg, this a, b, I'm going to call this side c, which is going to be 6. So let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean formula. So this is going to become a square plus d square equal to 6 square. Let's simplify that one, a square plus d square turns out to be 6 squared is uh, 36. Let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 2. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle BEC and once again this is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and in this case since this BC is the longest leg I am going to call C. Let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean formula. So that is going to become B square plus D square equal to 2 times square root of 3 the whole square. Let's go ahead and simplify B square plus D square equal to 2 square is 4, 4 times 3 is going to be 12. And let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 3. And finally, let's focus on this triangle CED. And this triangle is once again a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And in this case, this side length CD is the longest side. So I'm going to call a C. Let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean formula. So that is going to become B square plus C square equal to X square. So let me go ahead and call this as an equation number four. And now we can see that we have compiled all these four equations. Now let's go ahead and add equations 1 and 3. And here I have added equations 1 and 3. Let's go ahead and add them. I am going to add a square plus d square. Put them together a square plus d square. Then I'm going to put down b square plus c square. b square 
plus c square and on the right hand side 49 plus 12 is going to give us 61 and now we can see that this a square plus d square equal to 36 so i'm going to replace this one by 36 and likewise b square plus c square i am going to replace it by x square over here so we can write this one as 36 plus x square equal to 61 now let's go ahead and subtract 36 from both sides these are gone so we ended up x square equal to 25 let's go ahead and take the square root on both the side our x value is going to be positive or negative 5 and now since x represents the side length so it must be a positive so therefore our x value is going to be x equal to positive 5 so thus our side length cd turns out to be a 5 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye